Kia ora, good afternoon. We're waiting on an update on today's COVID-19 case numbers from the Director General of Health on his own today. Yesterday there were no new community cases, but today we're expecting test results from those who were at locations of interest visited by the 21-year-old South Auckland student. All right, let's bring in polit political editor Jessica Much Mackay. Kia ora, Jess, some contacts of this case haven't been tested yet. Why is that? Yeah, that's right. I just wanted to mention as well, we're at the Ministry of Health today because it is just Dr Bloomfield. We're having the press conference away from Parliament and he is due to talk to us. And its community from last Monday. All right, we're going to leave the press conference there. It's a little bit lighter today. If you are wanting to watch the rest of the question and answer session at the press conference, head to our website, onenews.co.nz. It's Ashley Bloomfield facing questions over the relationship between encouraging people to comply versus enforcing those cases where possible punitive measures could be employed. Here are the main points from the press conference. There are no new cases of COVID-19 in the community. Genome testing of case O, that's the mother of the MIT student, shows a link to the South Auckland cluster. Dr Bloomfield called that another reassuring sign. Time. Almost 9,000 tests were processed yesterday. The first test results from contacts of the student coming through today with more expected in coming days. All the MIT close contacts of that student have tested negative and 10 of the 11 close plus contacts of the KFC worker case have tested negative also. Thank you for joining us for this One News special. We'll be back with much more full and comprehensive coverage on the news hour at 6. In the meantime, have a good afternoon.